One of the biggest unicorns, if you will, in the 3D printing world, especially for the noobs, for the, the people starting out and trying to learn the whole art of the science, is the perfect layer. What is it? What does it even mean? And how do you describe it to somebody? I think we figured out a way of doing it, and stick around and see if you agree. I'm Ron. And this is Mike at Printerstein. This is my place. Welcome back. I'm glad you stuck around. Uh, as I was going through learning 3D printing, which I'm still learning it, obviously, one of the things that kind of eluded me was the perfect layer and understanding what it meant and and how to describe it to people. And, you know, I've done everything from the squishing a roll of toilet paper or a roll of tape and, and using that, which is a good analogy. But I suddenly had an epiphany the other day and I wanted to show an actual 3D printer nozzle extruding filament at all the different layer heights. I mean, what better way is there? I messed with it and a good friend of mine, uh, Mike over at Printerstein, decided to help me out. He got kind of got sick today, I guess, and has done some playing and came up with some really good video and we worked together and I've kind of thrown it into what I was envisioning for the whole project and I think you're gonna like it. Take a look at this and uh, see what you think. Notice at the start here that it's actually gonna plug the nozzle so you're actually pressurizing and running the risk of a clog because we're not able to actually extrude. You'll notice here that you're actually scraping along and getting a little bit of filament out and you're going to see it kind of starting and stopping. It looks really rough. Now you're actually seeing the purge as, that he had set up and the beginnings of some shoveling. Here you'll see the edges are pretty inconsistent because it's squishing out and you notice the shoveling that starts happening that's going to give you an extremely rough surface if you rubbed your finger on it. Here you're seeing what looks like a decent little layer, but it's still too thin and you're actually going to see almost a bed through the layer. This isn't a bad layer, but in my opinion it's still a bit smashed and I'm thinking the next step would be better for everybody. To me this is the perfect layer. You'll see that it's actually nice and smooth and you can actually see that the top of it is being made flat, which is creating a stable base, which is what you're looking for. Often people will go with this layer. Uh, it's actually too thick and it's almost completely circular. So this will have a real hard time actually sticking. Obviously at this point you can see the beginnings of bridging and that we're not even actually touching the uh, bed and it's really relying on gravity to stick it down. This is actually a really neat indication of it trying to ooze out and prime the nozzle and not even touching the bed. You see it dragging along there. Notice that you can see it's not even laying tightly on the bed. It's just kind of laying it down on the bed. And this will never stick and would be considered a really, really bad layer. This I just included because it shows such awesome bridging. And clearly you're not going to be able to print like this. But it looks cool. Here you can see an actual nozzle buildup start out. This is the thing that causes that big ball of plastic you'll see pictures on on different forums. Very, very bad for your nozzle. Here you're actually seeing bridging because it's so high up and then the beginnings of live Z offset where you can actually see it popping down and eventually touching the bed. It ends up a little bit too far away still but you get the idea of what Z offset does. Also baby stepping is what it's called. So what did you think? Pretty cool wasn't it? I'm sure somebody else has done this before but it, I really thought this whole bringing my vision to life was it just kind of cool. It's what YouTube's all about. I had a thought how to help somebody or help people and we come and we have it now. 
live. Uh, it, it's just really cool. Um, but the big thing to take away from this is knowing what the perfect layer is. And the perfect layer is art. People are going to argue. They're going to disagree. Some people like a smashed layer. Some people like a, a fatter layer. It all depends also on what kind of surface you're printing on. Uh, something like a PEI or a build tack that tends to be a little stickier, you can get away with a, a, a softer layer, if you will, or a bigger layer, less squished. If you're going on like glass, a lot of times you need to have a nice heavily squished layer because really what you're doing is you're giving additional surface lay, surface area, if you will, for the string of molten plastic to stick down. So the more smashed you are, the better surface area you have, so therefore the more chance you have of a good layer stick. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And um, definitely let me know what you think. And again, I thank Mike over at Printerstein. Uh, definitely check out his channel. He's got a handful of videos up that he's basically into building printers from scratch and repurposing printers into other printers. Uh, he's done a bunch of cool builds. So take a look at it. Um, Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for coming. Hey, this was Mike. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.